a recording. This is on Packet Tracer, observing packets crossing the network. Objective of using ping and track it tracker to verify connectivity from the source to destination. This activity will begin showing the 100% completion. This is because the activity is designed to demonstrate the behavior of ping and tracker. This activity is not designed to be created. Uh, Background and network administrator wants you to verify that the path a packet takes to get to a destination web server. Verify the connectivity from step one. Verify the connectivity from the source host to demonstrate host. Destination host. Open the source host command prompt window and ping the destination. Okay, so we will go to, we will click on PC0, and then we will click Desktop, and we will click Command Prompt, and then we will type ping space 192 dot one six eight dot three dot two and press enter. A reply verified connectivity from a host that demonstrates device to it does not indicate the path that has taken re was taken to reach it. Uh, the first few pings may time out while devices load. If all pings time out, repeat the command. Let's see. Oh, our last one didn't. Our last one made it. So we lost 25%. So I'm not going to do it again because it made it through. Uh, step 2. Determine the path taken to destination using uh, the tracer. It from within the command prompt window for PC zero, type transert. Okay, I'm gonna write transert. And then we will write uh, 192.168.3.2 and press enter. Okay. Now the transit should display four hops. The four hops is the actual destination. This is not only ver verifies connectivity between the device, but also provides the exact path the packet traveled to reach it. And that's our route right here. Okay, we'll close this out. And then we will go to, for step three, we'll view the packet path in simulation mode. So come down to the time, the simulation button and click that. And then we will click add a simple PDE button uh, that is here. And... Uh, click on PC one or PC zero and then one. This will create a ping between the packets. So 
might have to bring this over if it'll let me. It doesn't look like it's gonna allow me to. So I'll have to go like this. And go like that. And then I'll bring it back. And it looks like it's all set up. And then we need to click uh for step C, we need to s click the edit filter button to open the filters list. Ensure that only ICMP is checked. So we'll click the edit filters. We'll declare none. And ICMP is connected. And that should do it. Okay, in the working area window, click the network cloud to expand it and view the router device connecting within the cloud. See if I can find a cloud. I don't even know what they're talking about. Work area window. Click the network cloud to expand. View the router device connecting within the cloud, the source destination. Off screen, the. I don't see no cloud. The only thing that looks like a cloud is that, but that's a. That's something else. Mm, got a hand. And we have no clouds here. Maybe a viewpoint. see if we can I'll move that up there now I'll go auto play button in the simulation panel window and observe the path that the packet travels to reach the destination okay here we go and popped over to there and it popped over to PC1, popped back to the router, and back to the PC0. Now, what I will do now, notice within the event list there are three routers used between sources and demonstration. This is the same with the indicated path and earlier PC commands prompt. Windows uses the track command, trace command. Buffer full track base for the maximum number of events have been reached. You may not clear the event list from where you left off or just filter the event. Okay. 
Okay. I do not get anything on this part. So... Let's see what that does. Okay, I just wiped that coin. And I think that's all we have. We'll check our results. And looks like we completed our little scenario. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.